Hi everybody and welcome back. Well today the final version of Ubuntu 11.04 Natty Norwal featuring Unity was released from Ubuntu. Now there's been a lot of controversy about this. Uh, it seems like it's been mostly negative and I found out this morning that one of the reasons that Ubuntu 11.4 was released featuring the Unity desktop versus Genome or Gnome one of the reasons why it was released like this is that Ubuntu feels that this version of Ubuntu will appeal more to Windows users. Well, as a Windows user, I found that comment, to say the least, extremely interesting. So how does Ubuntu 11.04 stack up against Windows 7 with a Windows user slash dual booter like myself. So here we go, Ubuntu 11.04 versus Windows 7. Now, I had to install some updates to run this successfully inside, inside the uh, virtual box. I did not download and install all the updates as you should. So Ubuntu impressed me, impressed me that you can run this that this operating system can run in a stable environment inside VirtualBox without all the updates. So here we go. How does it look? Well, I have to be honest. Uh, those of you who, who know me, I think for me, and I stress for me, I think Windows 7 is the king of operating systems. From the beta stage, and two years down the line, Windows 7 for me has been absolutely perfect. No bugs no crashes and as of today zero viruses of course with Linux you don't have to worry about viruses in the first place but for Windows 7 for me with Windows 7 it's been stunning I think Windows 7 looks great it is customizable not as customizable as any Linux based operating system but Windows 7 is customizable now that being said I gotta be honest as a Windows lover I think Unity looks better there's just something about it that just catches my eye um, Anyway, to me, Unity, as far as the default desktop look looks, it looks better. Now, maybe because this is new, it's different, it looks like it might be more fun, but it looks better than Windows 7. What about navigating around the actual desktop? Well, if I was only a Windows user, I might say, hey, where's the start button? Okay, there's no shortcuts here on the desktop, but I see the shortcuts here on the left. This is like a super bar or some kind of dock. Then I would look at this brown bar, panel bar at the top, <clears throat> excuse me, and I would say, okay, well, this must be like the Windows 7 bar. So if I right click it, nothing happens. Well, that's not cool, in my opinion. If I would scroll to the right, I would navigate here, thinking this might be a start button. Obviously, it's not. And I think a Windows user could figure this out and think, okay, this is actually for restart shutting down oh what's this at the bottom system settings hey that's probably a control panel and sure enough it says control center so this is okay we have the uh, the clock here but there's no calendar and right click it there you go so that's no big deal here as far as the shortcuts here I think a Windows user would not mind this here to the right with the shortcuts not being able to right click uh, on the panel bar I think is major uncool in my opinion so a Windows user would gravitate here to the left and click this little ball and say is that the start button ooh what's this okay so we have something here that resembles the search bar in Windows 7 and the shortcuts because obviously duh it says shortcuts so alright let's say a Windows user just installed this and wanted to go to browse the web fair enough click Firefox okay and that popped up rather quickly let's go to my website here real quick <clears throat> excuse me alright well this works so far stable no crashes since I'm here let's see if some of the uh, shortcuts work for unity I have some shortcuts posted here click that all right the super key brings up the unity bar here on the left so that seems to work let's see super key the windows key and T all right brings up the trash can by the way I don't like the 
shortcut or the panel buttons here to the left. I prefer to have them on the right, and I'm sure that can be fixed. All right, hit super key and F. Okay, that worked okay. And let's try super key and A, applications. Search application. All right, fair enough. So that seems to work. Okay. All right, let's get out of this. If I right, right click on the desktop itself, all right, change desktop, background, themes, background, fonts. And I have to say, looking at these background wallpaper, I don't know. I mean, to me, they're just plain ugly. Uh, I think the Natty Norwal one here with the little fishies I think is cool, but the rest of them I just think Ubuntu could have done better to impress a Windows user like myself. So for the, mo for the most part, uh, the wallpaper has to go, but this is okay. Okay, so a Windows user would gravitate to these shortcuts here. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, this is the home folder. What's that? Oh, okay, you have folders here. Again, easy to get to. Of course, Firefox. LibreOffice Writer. And I have been using this on one of my laptops. Um, it's, it seems like it runs faster than OpenOffice. What else we have? LibreOffice Impress. Okay, and a Windows user would successfully probably say to himself, this is probably the part of the same package. The Ubuntu Software Center, what's that? I'm only a Windows user. Uh, get software, installed software, history. Oh, okay, I get it. Oh, let's see. Let's try clicking Internet and see what happens. Okay, and this would bring up software in relation to the category of the Internet. All right, so I think a Windows user would be able to figure this out. Let's keep on going down. Ubuntu One, hmm, what's that? A Windows user would click that, the power of personal cloud files backup oh okay so windows user would say okay this is the backup files on the internet i don't need that okay let's keep on going workspace switcher and a windows user would say well this is cool this is just a switch between workspace desktop spaces and you know workspace environments one two three four on the main screen okay fair enough cool applications Okay, and then these would be the other shortcuts. Fair enough. Click here, files and folders. And pictures, music, documents, videos. Okay, that looks cool. And bringing this down would be the trash can. And of course, there is nothing on there. So, how is this looking so far versus Windows 7? Well, so far it appears to be stable. Uh, no crashes. It looks better than Windows 7. But let's keep on going and see how a Windows user would use this. So we're going to click. Now to a Windows user, this would probably be the start menu. So we'll click that and say, wow, this thing's got a lot. Let's click. Hey, let's listen to some music. Let's click Banshee. Now, as a dual booter, I will say this. When it comes to media players, media organizers, stuff like that. I think the Linux versions are not up to par to the Windows versions. And I'll leave it at that. Although I will say this, I have been using Banshee in my Linux laptop and Banshee is actually pretty cool. The one nice thing about Banshee being installed by default versus Rhythmbox is that, is do that it does play videos. And I'll have a, a review of Banshee sometime in the future. But as far as playing music, I think a Windows user could figure this out, adding podcasts, the radio. I believe there is a radio extension uh, that can be added to this to download or to search music stations versus uh, using, rather, using uh, Shoutcast. And then if the Windows user would go to click Amazon MP3 store without that is self-explanatory, the Windows user could go to Amazon and search for music. Same as that person would use in Windows 7. So I think so far Unity is holding up pretty good versus Windows 7. 
Okay, and I don't want to power off the machine. See, as a Windows user being right-handed, I always gravitate my mousey to, to the right, I, and I don't want to do that. Okay. All right, let's go back to the Ubuntu logo start button, as I was as I would like to call it. All right, let's click. Let's see. As a Windows user, I would be probably curious. Hey, what apps do we have? Let's click more apps. Ah, and it just crashed. So there's the first crash in VirtualBox with Ubuntu Natty Norwal. Ah, okay. Well, let's try it again. More apps. Okay, and I would scroll down. I might gravitate here to the right and say, hey, there we go. There's the uh, something that resembles the program shortcut similar to Windows 7. And you can click Accessories Universal Developer Tools. Let's click, I don't know, Multimedia. Okay, and if I wanted to say Burner CD, Brazero Disk Burner, and audio project data video disk copy and burn Im burn image i think so far a windows user would be able to figure this out this looks like it would be simple to use i've used brazero once or twice it seems okay okay let's go back to the start button here click more apps all right let's say hmm you know what i don't like the way this looks let's go to uh appearance and let's say I want to change how this looks let's see let's try the sand and the Windows user may say hey this looks a little bit nicer alright click that again and it really doesn't change here a apparently this background always stays black now don't get me wrong I think this contrast here between the black and the shortcuts is easy on the eyes but you would think or a Windows user might think by changing the theme it would also change not only the color of the panel bar but the color of the background. I'm just saying a Windows user may think that way. Alright, let me click that again. Let's try more apps again. And let's see, what would a Windows user gravitate to? Let's try uh, system settings. Okay, and it did change the color here. Well, again, I think a Windows user would probably realize this is something that resembles a control panel. And let's see, let's say, you know what, I want to change my screensaver. Click that. And it looks like Ubuntu did install a nice selection of screensavers here. So this looks cool. Preview and it just froze on me. I guess I was clicking this too fast. Let's see if it'll close. Alright. It froze. Okay. I think what I will do is leave it as it is. Keep in mind it is running inside a virtual box. Couple freeze ups, uh, one crash in the beginning, uh, but you know what? That's to be ex expected inside a virtual box box it's not going to be perfect overall I think I think it ran pretty stable running inside a virtual box without installing all of the updates so how does unity 11.04 Ubuntu Nanny Norwal with unity how does it stack up against Windows 7 is this going to appeal to Windows users I think Windows users will be curious uh, whether they will choose this to replace Windows 7, you know, I'm not quite convinced. The last two previous releases of Ubuntu, to me, were not favorable. Of course, this may be, you know, 11.4 may be completely different, you know, completely more uh, bug-free and more stable. I don't know, know yet. It's brand new. But as far as this versus Windows 7, I'm going to stick with Windows 7 for now being king. But I will say this, I don't think Unity, the Unity default desktop, de deserves all the negativity that it has gotten from the, uh, from, from the community. And this is coming from a Windows user. I'm not necessarily defending or praising Unity, but it sure looks good. 
Uh, I think it looks better than Windows 7. But in terms of uh, something that I would trust out of the box, ready to go with no problems, I will stick with Windows 7. So for me, Windows 7 still wins this challenge, but Unity is not as bad as at least some users think it is. Give it a shot. You might like it. All right, I think I will leave it at that in this frozen state inside VirtualBox. Yep. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, I will catch you in maybe the Unity future. Bye-bye.